fucking speed bumps, man. So... I suppose I should start doing traffic, shouldn't I, really? Um, I haven't got a topic today. I suppose the topic today can be lifesavers. Um, how often do you do lifesavers? Because I think I do them far too much. Like, like now I'm going to do a lifesaver. I know there's no one behind me because I've been looking at my mirrors all the time. All the time, yeah, I just ride along like that. But I constantly check my mirrors, so I'm always aware if someone's behind me. Um, yeah, I still lifesaver. And well, then, I didn't... Why did I need to lifesaver then? I'm not even fucking changing position in the lane. Ah! Yippee! Oh, it's windy today. I'm going to try and close my visor with my um, camera in the position it's in right now. It just rests on the top of the camera, it doesn't actually close. So my eyes get blasted by wind. There we go. Ah, fucking hell. These roads are terrible. And it's very windy today, actually. So if it looks like I'm swerving around everywhere, that's probably why. Too much wind for you. You having a laugh? A bag of sand in the middle of the road. There's no way you don't know that's fucking falling off, do you? U turn! Innovations. That's a pretty cool van, actually. Pretty cool decals. If you like that kind of shit. But yeah, so I find myself doing lifesavers when I don't need to. Like here, I'm not moving out around them cars, but then I did just do a little cheeky look over my shoulder. Motor cycle. And it actually makes me cringe when I see people's videos where they don't, nah, they don't do um, lifesavers. I really like, I can't watch it. Like that, I do a, a lifesaver on the inside as well. And I think a lot of people think perhaps you shouldn't do them or they're not really that useful, but there could be a cyclist or a pedestrian or anything on the inside of you that, um, that you're gonna squish. Dan's the fucking man. Fucking man. Dan is the man, apparently. Wait, why are we stopping? Then I didn't know whether to throttle off or brake and I just did neither for like half a second. That was a very, very poor judgment on my behalf. I knew, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. But, I'm being a sneaky beaver. Who's the sneaky beaver then? Oh, their lights just changed, so. You know what, this might be a really old bike. And it might have 67,000 miles on the clock. It still shifts when it wants to. Which is why we love motorcycles. They're fuel efficient, they're small, they're nimble, and they're quick. What else could what else could you want from a vehicle? Apart from obviously high carrying capacity. But then obviously to have high carrying capacity, you've got to sacrifice most of them things. Paul's handyman service. Paul's the handyman. So Dan, you may be the man, but you ain't the handyman, son. You know what? Because I'm feeling particularly charitable today. None of these let you go. I will. You're good to go for me, mate. Come. Oh, after this silver car. Come on, come on. Oh. Thanks, man. This bear behind doesn't look like she's actually looking at the road. She's actually looking down. She's looking at my butt. From our rear fucking wheel thinking, look at the size of them fucking chicken strips. Well, it's a commuter bike. I'm gonna have chicken strips on it when I'm doing this all day. And the one time I did try and lean this bike over just a tiny little bit. I, like, I really do mean tiny as well. It's on the way home from my girlfriend's house. The fucking front end went. Actually went as well. I fucking full foot foot out, spray my ankle. We go, we go, we go, let's go! 
Yes, get shit on bus. Oh, get fucking wrecked. Anyway. Oh shit. Thanks, Mum. I don't understand that. People use fucking hand signals when they're like half a mile away. So he's there waving to me in his fucking... You need to slow the fuck down, kiddo. He's there waving to me in his fucking... You need to slow the fuck down, kiddo. 